Why does nobody talk about how hard breastfeeding is? I was sold this lie that it would just come naturally and easy. And I was completely unprepared for the mental load it took on me. I just had my fifth baby, so I wanna give you some tips that have helped me along my breastfeeding journey. Number one, SNS. I wanted them to get colostrum, but it wasn't cutting it for them. They weren't gaining weight or pooping and peeing the amount they should be. It was important for me to establish breastfeeding, so I needed baby to be on the boob. How it works is baby latches onto the breast, and then you slip this little tube in that looks like a wire, and slip it into baby's mouth while they're on the breast, and then it's connected to the syringe. Every time baby sucks, then you push a little bit of the syringe and it's like positive reinforcement and that's when they get the milk. So they're still getting colostrum, but they're also supplementing at the same time. By day five, my milk comes in and I no longer have to use this method. And I was able to have a successful breastfeeding journey because of it. Those first few days are hard, especially if you're trying to establish breastfeeding because baby is going to be on the boob what feels like every second of the freaking day. But I promise once the milk comes in, it does get way easier. So if breastfeeding is something that is super important to you, try with everything you have to stick with it. However, assess where you are mentally because at the end of the day, baby just needs their mama no matter how they're fed. <laughs> to be quite honest, with my first, I absolutely hated breastfeeding. And now that I'm on my fifth, I still resent it sometimes. It's difficult being the only one that can do this. And as supportive as my husband is, he has useless nipples. So there's this huge mental toll that takes place, especially because you're not getting much sleep because you're up breastfeeding all the time. I really wanted to quit but I'm so glad I stuck with it. It's definitely a sacrifice, but I've come to learn that sacrifices aren't necessarily a bad thing. Yes, you're definitely giving up a lot of comforts for them, but you're giving up those comforts for something so much greater in the future. And for me, breastfeeding was that. And my last tip is instead of hooking yourself up to a pump, if you're trying to establish some sort of backup stash, get a haka. Attach it to your breast when baby's feeding on the other one. It will pump out milk from your other breast while baby feeds on the other one, and you can get your pumping and baby fed done at the same time. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a mom sharing her experience in hopes that it helps someone else. I know that every mother here is just doing what's best for their baby and their family. My name is Chrissy Horton. I'm your big sis through pregnancy and motherhood.